Hi, um, my name is Rebecca Elliott. I am the product manager for early childhood clinical assessments here at Riverside. And I am joined by Dr. Sarah Holman, Director of Product Marketing, Marketing here at Riverside Insights. And today we are excited to talk to you about the release of our new assessment, the BDI3 Spanish. BDI3 Spanish is launching as a new assessment in October, 2022. The BDI3 Spanish is a standalone assessment that is accessible with the purchase of a BDI3 Spanish kit. However, if you are already a BDI3 user, you can use the same access key to access BDI3 Spanish on Riverside Score and MDS. BDI3 Spanish is a parallel assessment of the BDI3 English. It goes over the five main areas of development, first being social emotional, with adult interaction, peer interaction, self-concept, and social role. Next domain it covers is communication, focusing on receptive and expressive communication. It goes through the adaptive domain with self-care and self -responsi personal responsibility, the motor domain with gross, fine, and perceptual motor skills, and the cognitive domain, which covers attention and memory, reasoning and academic skills, and perception and concepts. BDI3 Spanish is being released with two different assessments, the BDI3 Spanish Developmental Complete and the BDI3 Spanish Developmental Screening Test. The BDI3 Spanish Developmental Complete is a comprehensive evaluation of progress and deficits in those five key areas of development. It can help you understand performance on those specific develop, developmental milestones and also aid in the process of special education evaluations. The BDI-3 Spanish developmental screening test helps you quickly screen those key developmental milestones and can easily determine if a student should be referred to further testing. BDI-3 was launched in 2020 um, after an update of the BDI-2. So BDI-3 has updated norms, validity, and reliability. As demographics and state standards has changed, BDI-3 has greater alignment to what the demographics look like today. It also has updated guiding scoring rubrics on each page meaning that it allows the assessor to know what score a child should be receiving. BDI-3 also was launched with Riverside Score and MDS. Riverside Score allows for automatic scoring and reporting on the platform, and the MDS is for paperless administration. Both these programs help with the fidelity of the assessment. Riverside Score has customizable reporting options. With multiple scores available by BDI-3, these reporting options help you re build the report that you need. The BDI-3 has approximately 25% new items across all the domains. There was also a redistribution of items by skill type, and there is better alignment to current literature for skill progression and updated speech milestones. BDI-3 has multiple key features. First being, it's a comprehensive, comprehensive measurement of all developmental areas. It's the conceptualization of the de developmental mind, milestones, meaning it hits on all the major parts of a child's development. It is the largest age range um, of developmental assessments, go going from birth to age seven years, 11 months. It's being released in the complete assessment and screening test. It has multiple flexible administration options with structured item types, observation item types, and interview item types, oftentimes items allowing the assessor to choose what administration options they'd like to use. It has multiple point scoring, meaning a child can receive a zero, a one, or a two, depending on their performance. It's fun to administer and easy to score, and it is norm, curriculum, and criterion reference based. 
BDI3 Spanish went through a calibration study so that it could rely on the same norms as the BDI3 English assessment. Through that calibration study, 620 children were used to help calibrate that test to the English norms. First, the test was translated to Spanish with minor linguistic and artwork adaptations. Next, this translated assessment was administered to 620 students who speak Spanish and, re and reside within the United States. A calibration study was conducted to place the items and the students on a W scale. Then the items were reviewed with four main considerations. The rank order stability of item difficulty estimates, differential item functioning, item fit, and item discrimination. Rash model equating procedures were used to place the BDI-3 Spanish items and examinees onto the same scale as the BDI-3 English so that they could rely on that same set of norms. So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, how um, you might use the BDI-3 Spanish and how it might complement some of your evaluation activities that you are currently participating in. So the BDI-3 Spanish serves five specific purposes um, in assessment and educational planning. And the wide range of behavioral skills covered in the BDI-3 really helps users or evaluators identify relative strengths and opportunities for learning um, of typically developing infants, preschoolers, kindergartners, and early primary school students. The screening test can be used to efficiently identify those areas of development in which a child needs comprehensive assessment. And uh, sort of contrastly, a full BDI-3 uh, Spanish assessment, um, once that has been administered, the normative data provides um, a basis for making those eligibility and placement decisions. Um, the comprehensive behavioral content, item sequence, and range of skill areas for the BDI-3 Spanish make it ideally suited for developing IEPs or IFSPs and creating targeted instructional activities related to the objectives identified in the IEP. Um, change sensitive scores are also provided for users to assess a child's ability um, in any of the subdomains over time. This allows those working with children to evaluate specific interventions, make any necessary changes to IF, IFSPs or IEPs, and also report end of year accomplishments. With the BDI-3 Spanish, the progress of large number of children can easily be charted, analyzed, and reported to help assess the, the effects of various intervention strategies and educational programs. So when we talk about BDI-3 Spanish being uh, one of the most comprehensive measures of developmental milestones, what is it exactly that we mean when we say comprehensive and why does it matter? So the BDI-3 Spanish allows for flexible administration. And that means we're able to collect data in a variety of ways. And this is gonna really help validate your results and, and lead to more defensible conclusions um, because we're using multiple lenses through which we can um, understand and interpret the data. So we can collect data with the BDI-3 Spanish through structured administration of items, through observation and through interview. So while it's best practice to collect data using a structured administration, um, because it decreases variability and decreases bias, um, we can supplement that um, in those instances where that's not feasible with observations and interview processes to obtain information. So we, we can decrease the likelihood that we're introducing bias to our assessment process by using that structured um, administration process, but we can then supplement our understanding through observation and interview processes. So one of the questions we often get when we talk about Spanish language assessments is, um, if I'm not proficient in Spanish, can I use a translator um, as a part of the assessment process? And the guidance is that, yes, you may use a bilingual person 
that has been trained in the administration of the assessment, but the interpretation of the data um, needs to be done by a qualified um, evaluator with the credentials to understand the uh, meaning of those scores as well as the implications of those scores. The other um, common question we get um, when we're talking about assessing students um, in another language is when do I have to use the other the assessment in the other language and when can I assess them in English? So it really is a, a, a very complex, um, individually driven process because we know that kiddos can present with one of a vast array of very unique language backgrounds. Um, and so the guidance um, that we're gonna give from the manual is obviously gonna vary according to the unique um, individual characteristics of the student with whom you're working. And you as the professional are the ones that are in the best position to really understand the child's sort of linguistic profile, background, exposure, to be able to drive that decision. But we will provide um, some guidance from the manual um, that can sort of help you within your thought process and how you were going to go about sort of selecting the language of assessment. So for those kiddos for whom Spanish is the dominant language and English language proficiency is minimal, you're gonna choose mostly to administer the BDI-3 Spanish. Um, if you are assessing a child for whom a formal language proficiency test is feasible, um, you can use the Woodcock Munoz Language Survey, for example, to help determine language proficiency and dominance um, prior to this determination. But generally speaking, for stu students for whom Spanish is the dominant language, minimal English language proficiency, the administration choice is going to be the BDI-3 Spanish. For those students who are Spanish speaking with at English skills that are adequate for assessment so they can access the assessment content, but whose parents or caregivers may not have adequate um, English language skills for responding to um, interview questions in English, you can administer those interview items in Spanish. Um, and the normative information um, will be reliable and valid as long as the structured items completed by the child are administered in English. So it's a way to sort of make sure you're able to leverage that information from the caregiver in the language in which they are most um, comfortable, but administer the test in English to the student because they demonstrate adequate English language skills. And then lastly, if you have a child with some English language proficiency, you have the option of administering the BDI-3 Spanish or the BDI-3 English, and then retesting those items on the English um, assessment in Spanish using that structured administration um, for those items that the child gave incorrect answers or for those items that could not be completed because of the language difference. So this is looking at a typical item from the expressive communication domain um, in the BDI-3 English assessment. So we're going to go over some of the um, points of what's provided with each item type. So at the top, you can see the starting point. So this actually points out that this is the starting point in this domain for a child who is between the months of 12 months and 23 months old. Underneath that, you will see the behavior that's being assessed, meaning this one being the child laughs. So underneath that, you'll see the administration procedures. So this is where the assessor can choose between having a structured administration, doing an observation, or doing interview type. Under interview, you can see that the spoken um, text is in blue. So this is what you're going to say out loud for the interview. And you can see that it isn't just one question, but it gives you um, 
ways to dig deeper into what you need to ask in the interview to get the most accurate information of the child's um, skill level. And at the bottom, you'll see the scoring rubric. So the scoring rubric guides how many points a child should get based upon their skill level, skill level in this behavior. So you'll see for two points that the child needs to do it typically or 90% or more of time. One point for sometimes and zero for rarely or never. Next is an example from the social emotional domain. Um, at the top, you can see the behavior, the three different administration procedures and the scoring rubric in the bottom. And next is another example from the BDI3 Spanish. You can see the starting point at the top, the behavior underneath. And um, for this item type particularly, they only um, it only allows for the interview uh, type of administ or I mean the structured type of administration. Um, so you don't always have a choice of all three. Sometimes the item type requires a certain administration procedure. However, on this item type, you can see to the right um, an image, and this image is actually being shown to the child um, in the item book as you're administering this one. And at the bottom, you can see the scoring rubric to help guide the assessor on how many points to give the child. So when translating the BDI-3 English to Spanish and then um, completing the calibration study, a lot of items were either updated um, or changed for the Spanish version of the test. Uh, these changes were to be more culturally and linguistically sensitive, um, to be more appropriate for Spanish speaking children, both within and outside the United States. So these items were updated in three ways. So first being just minor language adaptations between the English and Spanish version. Next, sometimes an item was actually deleted from the Spanish version because when it was translated, it wasn't deemed appropriate or did not make sense in the new assessment. And lastly, um, some items had artwork or names of people adapted to be more representative of the Hispanic culture. So a few examples of this. Um, this is an example of an item that was removed uh, when translated to Spanish. So on the English version, the child um, is assessed on whether they use irregular plural forms. Um, and in Spanish, nearly all nouns are regular. So this, uh, this item type was not deemed appropriate for assessing. So it was removed from the BDI-3 Spanish. Next is an example of an image change. You can see the same item in both English and Spanish. And you can see the Spanish image is more um, culturally inclusive of Hispanic culture. And lastly, this is an example of an item change. So in the BDI-3 English version, a uh, child is assessed on whether they uh, can establish digraph speech sounds such as ch and sh. However, the digraph sh does not exist in the Spanish language. So um, it was adapted to assess on different sounds. So BDI-3 Spanish is being released with the developmental complete and the BDI-3 Spanish screening assessment. So with the release of these two new assessments, um, there is the access to two online programs, first being Riverside Score. So on Riverside Score, um, this is where you can score and report um, automatically with that program. And there are two different score reports that are available to build out on Riverside Score for BDI-3 Spanish, first being the score report and next being the data export. Um, on the next slide, I'll go into what scores can actually pr be produced on these two reports. The other program that can be used for BDI-3 Spanish is the mobile data solution. So this is an app that allows you to paperless administer these assessments. So you don't have to lug around the big item textbooks. They're all loaded onto this app. And the best thing about that is that you can do this completely offline without Wi-Fi. So if you're going into a student's home, 
um, or administering in a place without Wi-Fi. You do not need access um, to the internet to administer with the MDS. You also have offline access to the norms and conversions manual. So if you choose to hand score um, this, these assessments, you can use um, the norms and conversions manual that's located in the resources of the modal data solution. So the reports that are available um, for automatic reporting in Riverside score um, is first, first the score report and then also the data export. So on the left, you can see all the scores that are available for BDI3 Spanish. You have the raw score, the age equivalent, the change sensitive score, standard score, scaled score, percent rank, Z score, T score, NCE, relative developmental index, months delay, percentage delay, and standard deviation delay. So your score report that you can produce um, can show the norm reference scores that represent a student's performance on the assessment. So the score reports are produced for individual students. However, you can also pull out multiple students at a time if you use the data export. So the data export feature actually downloads as an Excel file, and that can pull out all the raw data scores for multiple students at a time. EDI3 Spanish is also being released with two different training types. So first being web, the live webinar series. So the live webinar series goes through um, an overview of an assessment. So either the BDI-3 Spanish Developmental Complete or the BDI-3 Screening Test. Um, it will go through an overview of the assessment, how to administer it, um, diving into scoring and reporting, and then also training on the platforms of Riverside Score and the MDS. We also have the option for in-person training. So for BDI3 Spanish, you can have one of our trainers come on site for your organization. Um, and it can be a one person show or up to 500 um, member team um, that you'd like to train on these assessments. Um, for BDI3 Spanish, we will have our trainings available in English and also in Spanish if you request. So in addition to this rich data that you can gather um, during the administration process and that allows you to sort of better understand your child, we are developing a couple of supplementary resources to enhance your ability to interpret and use the data that you gather. The first resource that we are in, um, that we are developing is a BDI-3 Spanish Head Start alignment. And there you see a screenshot of the English version, but the Spanish version will look very, very similar. And basically what this document does is it aligns items on the BDI-3 Spanish to the Head Start Early Learning Outcome Framework. And it, it designates the specific domain, subdomain, and indicator from that framework um, to specific items on the BDI-3. So that will allow you to um, help understand the strengths and weaknesses of the student and how those align with the expectations set out in the Head Start um, Learning Outcome Framework. The second resource that we are developing is what we call crosswalks. Um, these will be available for ADHD and autism. Um, again, they are in development, but are coming soon. And basically what these do is it takes the, they take the DSM criteria for each of those conditions and identifies those items from the BDI-3 Spanish that sort of correlate to those criteria. So for example, um, if the DSM criteria A1 references deficits in social emotional reciprocity from the BDI-3 communication domain, you can really focus in on the receptive communication items five, six, and nine to help you better understand 
whether or not that student is demonstrating or meeting that criteria. Now, these are not diagnostic documents or resources. They are a framework um, to help you understand your learner and understand the strengths and weaknesses they have and how those relate to the DSM criteria for each of those conditions. So if you are ready to get started with the BDI 3 Spanish, it is an easy three-step process. It does require a, uh, a kit purchase. So the BDI 3 Spanish is a separate kit from the BDI 3 English. And you will either purchase your co developmental complete kit or your Spanish screening test kit or both. That's the very first step is to decide um, which kit you need to purchase. Then if you do not have access keys, you will need to purchase those that will allow you access to Riverside score, reporting and scoring platform. If you have an access key because you are currently a BDI3 user, that access key will give you access to score report the BDI3 Spanish as well. And then the third step is to purchase your record forms. The kit that comes with um, 25 electronic record forms and 25 paper record forms. But in the event that you need more than that 25 initial starter pack, you will need to purchase those um, either at, at the initial purchase or at any point um, in the future. So we are really super excited to be able to provide this new instrument to supplement your assessment toolkit. And please feel free to reach out to us with any questions. Our contact information can be found there. We also will be hosting some question and answer sessions about all things BDI-3. Um, and that will include discussions about the BDI-3 Spanish as well. Um, and look for those to be posted soon on our website. Um, on our professional development page. So again, thank you so much. Um, we are super excited for this and um, let us know if you have any questions.